The pension payments for retired post office workers can vary quite a bit, depending on several factors including years of service, job level, and retirement plan specifics. But let's break it down a bit to give you a clearer picture. Years of service. Your pension is largely determined by how long you've worked for the post office. Typically, the more years you've put in, the higher your monthly pension payment will be. Job level. The role you held while working also matters. Higher level positions usually come with higher salaries, which in turn can boost your pension benefits. Retirement plan. Most postal workers fall under one of two retirement systems, the Civil Service Retirement System, CSRS, or the Federal Employees Retirement System, FERS. The CSRS generally results in higher pension payments compared to FERS, but FERS employees also have access to Social Security and the Thrift Savings Plan, TSP. Rough estimates. On average, a retired postal worker under CSRS might receive around $3,000 to $3,500 per month in pension payments, under FERS, the average might be closer to $1,000 to $1,500 per month, but they also receive Social Security benefits and TSP contributions, which can significantly increase their total retirement income. In summary, the monthly pension payments for retired postal workers can vary quite a bit. But if you're looking for a ballpark figure, $1,000 to $3,500 per month is a good range to consider, depending on the factors mentioned above. For more detailed info, you might want to visit the USPS retirement page, https colon slash slash www.usps.com slash corporate slash retirement slash welcome dot htm. They have a lot of useful resources to help break down your specific situation.